Hi, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. Now this isn't more no my normal day that I do a video, but I did go shopping today at Goodwill and I wanted to get this thrift video on so that I could work on it. Uh, and I didn't want to jam it all together with tomorrow's uh, what sold video. I do a what sold video for the past week on Sundays at four o'clock. So I thought I'd just come on here for this quick uh, thrift video. I went to uh, Goodwill this morning, early at nine o'clock. I went today because it's double points day. That means you get a double point, uh, two points for every dollar you spend. And that's what gets you these 35% off coupons that I use. So I had a 35% off coupon from before. So everything uh, that I got today was 35% off the regular price. So I got a total of 25 items. And uh, most were clothing items. There were two plushes and one hard goods. Uh, a ceramic thing I'll show you uh, so I own I I earned another 134 points and uh, I actually have two more 35% off coupons after I used this one today so yeah it's hard when you start to get those it's hard to go shopping at Goodwill when you don't have one because you always uh, think you're paying too much. Uh, hi, Bumblebee. I was hoping you'd see this. Yes, I had to go shopping. I ran out of clothes things. And it's way too, uh, it takes me way too long to do those uh, health and beauty items. Uh, I'm just sort of creeping through those. I've only put like five or six of them on so far but I'm just going to put them on in between clothing items because uh, if you listen to Chris and uh, his partner that I listen to all the time now, it's best to do uh, stick with what you know. That means I should stick with clothing items and uh, not do anything else really. But it's nice to have some little things in there that's uh, different. Like I have, I'll have plush, I'll have, I got one ceramic thing today and I'll have the health and beauty items scattered in. But really to do any speedy uh, listing, yeah, I, I, the clothing is what's fastest for me now and I'm trying to build up speed. Uh, when I list so anyway I I did have enough drafted items uh, that I put on this morning I put five drafted items so that I don't have to worry about putting anything on today but I will go on and put some uh, some things on to have some draft things in my draft uh, little closet or box uh, when I need them so let me show you what I got. When I first went there, how I go around the store, I'm trying to just go to shoes and handbags and whatever's over there, like belts and hats and things. And then I go to um, plus uh, items, women's items, and then back and scan through the jeans. And then I go to the men's department, especially the jeans. And uh, I go to the hard goods last because that's something else I'm not familiar with. It takes me much longer to list anything like that. So I just do that for my own enjoyment, really. And it's hard not to, it's hard to watch like um, Lavender Clothesline and a couple other people that just do hard goods and not want to go there and find treasures, you know, so always go and look around. Uh, I picked up something that just appealed to me today. 
I don't know if it's, you know, it'll it, how it will be as far as resale goes, but I thought it was cute. So I'll show you that. Uh, I got a lot of jeans and, and tops. That's about what I got. I didn't get anything really uh, spectacular like I got uh, the other days when I found the mother jeans <laughs> and the Miss Me jeans. But <clears throat> this was the store that the Miss Me jeans were in. So I made sure I sorted through the jeans, made sure they hadn't left any behind or people hadn't found them. But everybody found all the ones that they had. So there weren't any, any there. So uh, the first, when I went to the shoe, women's shoe department, uh, I didn't find any women's shoes, but this little guy was sitting in the women's shoes. Now somebody must have picked him up and then put him back and just put him wherever they were. So I'm, he's really cute. He's, his face looks like a Yorkie. He's almost, he could be a tiny Yorkie. He's almost the size. And the tag is a Coles Care sock tag it still has his tag on but he's really cute and uh but he's black and i don't know if they have black yorkies or not so i didn't i don't know exactly what kind of dog he is it doesn't say on the tag so it does give a number though so i might be able to look up the style number and it will tell me what kind of dog he is but he's just cute so the coles cares animals they do sell so I picked up him. I didn't find any shoes or scarves or no hats. Um, it's funny, if you find something, this is how I feel, if you find something really spectacular at the very beginning of your search, it sort of sets a tone for the rest of your uh, shopping. And I think that it, uh, I think you, like when I found that, uh, Lily Pulitzer hat that was in that department. I found that right away and I had a really good day. Today it was work. Let me tell you, it was work to find the 25 items that I found. Uh, so my computer is sitting quite a distance away from me. So it's going to be really hard for me to read uh, these things unless I make them big. Yeah, it's a surprise to see me. Well, I didn't know I was going to do it either till about an hour ago. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to put both my what's sold video and my thrifting haul together. So I did, I just did it today. <laughs> yeah, I have to keep the, uh, I have to keep the stuffed animals the plush away from him because he might not do it now that he doesn't feel good, but he would, he would just tear them apart before. Yes, because you're trying. Right. Yeah. Well, I didn't find anything spectacular today, but I did get enough things to, you know, hold me for a few days anyway. Uh, let me just start to go through these. <clears throat> In no particular order. Uh, here's a ombre uh, hoodie, just a little like a t-shirt fabric jersey. Uh, it's, it's the ombre. It's navy blue and gray, and it's a size. It's a size large, cotton and polyester. So, ombre used to do pretty well. Look, I'm still not far back far enough, really. Ombre used to do better than it does now, but I still pick it up once in a while. Not all the pieces, but. Uh, this is a Lucky Brand, large women's, uh, sort of a long 
knit shirt. And I think it's, yeah, it's a large. Long sleeve, black and white stripe. And it's buttoned like a half button with little metal buttons down. These are just sort of bread and butter things I got today. I thought this was pretty though. This is a Chico's. Uh, Chico's 3, which is a good uh, bigger size. And it's sort of a blush pink and gray splotchy things. I don't know what you call that design. What would you call that design? <clears throat> I don't know. I never know when it's it's not it's not really geometric. It's just I don't know. That's probably what I'd put on it because I wouldn't know what else to put on, but uh Yeah, my little thing here. A few years back, we had a rocking horse that our beagle went crazy about barking first and then sniffing <laughs> tail. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I thought this was pretty, and it's a good big size. And Chico's is a good bread and butter brand that sells pretty well. Now, this is Zenergy, and uh, Chico's also makes Zenergy. And this, in the middle, has some uh, little shiny, I don't know if you can see it, uh, little tiny rhinestones, this center part. It's a real pretty design. You can see it better if I hold it over here. But this is, like I said, this is a three also. So another nice big size. These were together. Um, those two were together, and I think there's there was one other of the Chicos that were all together. So probably the same person had it. Now this is um, Ariat Real. This is an extra large, even though it doesn't look huge, but it's uh, just says real on there. And Ariat Real. Ariat's a really good brand that anybody that has horses knows about. So it's just a uh, sort of a text on the uh, front there, sort of elbow length sleeves. It's a soft knit. <clears throat> And uh, this is by Philosophy. It was so soft. I thought it would have cashmere in it, but it it doesn't have cashmere in it. But it it's uh it's really soft. It's this blush pink uh, sweater. I love to buy sweaters. I love when fall comes and you can change your your store over to more sweatery type things. But uh, this is sort of a big oversized uh, sweater. And the bottom has a, you know, not a hem, but a whatever you call that. Goes in tighter at the hips there. But this would be really cute on, I think, with a pair of jeans. This blush pink. It's a size large, and it's by Philosophy. <clears throat> I think this is mostly rayon and something. When I look it up. Now, I don't buy a lot of Tommy Hilfiger, but I buy things that usually have the bold colors on it. And this was a size extra, extra large. This was in the uh, women's department. Now, I'm not sure if this is a women's or a men's, but it has the big block colors on there. 
and Hilfiger written across. It's a hoodie. With the colors down, down the sleeve and in the back, some more block colors, red and white. So I picked that up because of that and because of the size. This is Tommy Hilfiger Sport. It's in really nice condition. Doesn't look like it's been worn very much at all. Oh, here was the other. Chico's. Chico's Travelers in a three also. So Chico's Travelers is always good. This is that real slinky fabric that doesn't, uh, you can just wad it up. It doesn't ever wrinkle. And it's acetate and spandex. And sort of looks like an animal print, sort of all mushed together, all different animal prints. And the sleeve is, I don't know, probably three quarters. I don't think it's full sleeve. But this always feels so nice. But it has a big wide V-neck on it. <clears throat> so I got those three Chico's in a size three. Um, In the, then I think most, well, no. These are all sort of jammed in the bag. And it looks like I sort of went to the men's department. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I looked in the vests. I always look in the vests. I got another vest. Now, this is not a goose down vest. This is a lighter, much lighter weight. Uh, but it's by Peter Millar. It's just a gray quilted uh, vest. It's nice big deep pockets, a full zip. It's all quilted. Front and back. My dog is groaning. And it is a size large. So I picked it up because of the name. Peter Millar uh, makes good clothing. Okay, here's a men's shorts. Now this is just a Land's End, size 38 in a men's. But I really, I just like the color and I like the uh, pattern. It's just sort of tropical. Tropical with uh, sailboats and palm trees and things on it. So I thought that was kind of neat. I'm sure that buttons there. Yes. So here are shorts. And in the men's shirts. This is just by Morona, which is a Target brand, but this is a perfect summer shirt for men if they like to go fishing. It has fish all over it. It's a, just a nice cotton, short sleeve, cool shirt. Uh, it's buttoned down. It's an extra, extra large. So I thought that was a really cute uh, pattern for sportsy men. By Marona. I found one, I think just one, uh, Pearl Snap Western shirt. I should have snapped these up before. Um, this is by BKE. It's a uh, pretty plaid.
And this smells like perfume, actually. Or maybe aftershave. <laughs> it smells good, but I'll have to wash that. Um, so this is a, a pretty uh, blue, navy, and gray, and yellow plaid pockets in the front. It's a Western-style shirt with pearl snaps by BKE. Now this is a woman's pair of pants, and these are a size uh, extra, extra large, 44-46. They're linen and rayon. I thought they were all linen, but linen and rayon, and they're by Cuba Vera, Cuba, Cuba Vera. But they are perfect for summer. They have a, um, they're this really light beige with a little wooden button and they, uh, they have elastic back and a tie at the front that you can pull, so pull. But a really nice pair of straight leg, wide leg, cool summer pants. In the back, there's double pockets on the back with the elastic there. So I thought those are perfect for summer and a nice big size. And they're in really good condition. So Cuba Vera. I didn't look that up, but it sort of sounded familiar. <laughs> but I bought it because of the fabric and it's just a really summery summary pair of pants. Now we have a lot of jeans here. Uh, also in the men's department, let me show you the shoes I got. Uh, the only pair of shoes I got were these big work boots. And they're by Stanley. You know that they make tools. So I did look these up. And I should be able to get $30 for these. They're in really good condition. And they have a steel toe. But they're only a size 7. Uh, but that's the only drawback is the smaller size. But they're in excellent condition. And actually probably women could fit in these also. I don't know what the women's size for men's seven would be, but uh, so that's the uh, good pair of work boots. All right, let me uh, start on the jeans. <clears throat> this is a pair of buffalo jeans, which is David Bit Bit Bitten. Is that how you pronounce it? I got these because they are uh, button fly, button fly jeans. And uh, they're a darker wash. And they are bigger size, well, no, not really, 36 by 32. Uh, men's sort of straight leg, I think they're straight, yeah, straight leg. And they're a little bit distressed with that, what they call whiskering. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. They're whiskering across here and across uh, up there by the under the pockets. But my men's jeans bins can use some <laughs> inventory, so. I try to always get men's jeans, but there weren't that many today. So in my women's jeans, bins are pretty full, but that's what I found more of. Now, this is women's Chico's Platinum Jeans, size 2.5. So that's another big, slightly bigger size. And they're in really excellent condition. 
uh, just regular ultimate fit bootleg. So it tells you these are bootleg. They seem short. But I don't know. I can't stand up because I'm sitting so low on this hassock. It would take me a lot to stand up. But these don't look like they've been hemmed at all. But they certainly do look short. And they don't say that they're capris. They just say they're regular. So you'd think on the pockets here where they say they're a bootleg, they, they would say if they were a capri. So they're probably not. <laughs> I did find a pair of seven for all mankind. Uh, these are a size 29, which is a small women's size. Uh, I think these are, I don't think they have a style number. They're boot, they're boot cut, though. So a pair of boot cut, seven for all mankind uh, jeans in pretty good condition. And this is another plus size I found. And I saw the sparkly on the on the pockets. That's what made me go look at them. This is by Lane Bryant, the Genius Fit Boot Cut, and they're a size 24. So they're nice darker, uh, darker wash with those pretty pockets in the back. And this front pocket here has some bling on it right there too. But they're very, uh, they're in very good condition. So another bigger size of jeans. Now, these pair of jeans were hanging across the men's pants, and I passed them up several times because there's some wear on the hems, which I keep saying it doesn't really matter, but I don't know why nobody else was picking them up either. I think they just need wash because these, they're not just worn, they're dirty on the bottom. Like they've been dragging on the ground. But these are silver jeans. I mean... And they're the Suki boot cut, which I have a few pair of these. And they are size 30. Uh, so they're in fair condition. Nicely worn in. Uh, those are the pockets. So, you know, a little boot cut uh, Suki. Uh, silver jeans. So they're, they're very expensive to buy in the store, but they don't resale. Reselling on them isn't as good as they used to be. I was watching, um, what was her name? Just, just thrift, just thrifting or just, I'm so bad at names. She's a new girl that I've, I just started to watch. Uh, and she she was showing a pair, or no, maybe it wasn't her. Maybe it was Becky Park I was watching. And she had gotten a pair of Spanx, and they were in the, je like, jeans. They were, like, jeans, and they were Spanx. I saw those very same pants today and didn't pick them up. I am so mad at myself. Why I didn't throw them in my basket, I don't know, because Becky says she gets... 60 to 70 dollars for them. I could just kill myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
I almost thought I should just go back and find those. But after three hours in the Goodwill, I'm too tired to go back. I got two more pair of booty shorts, cutoffs. Uh, two, this is cache, which I usually uh, don't find, cache. About just a little pair of denim jean cutoffs. They have some uh, metal little detailing there on each side. And this pair is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger, which I usually don't get in the booty shorts. So these aren't raw seams. These are just uh, hemmed. A pair of short shorts. These are more short shorts with flat pockets in the back here. It has the button. So a pair of Tommy little short shorts. And that's it for the jeans. Now I'll show you my other. Oh, don't want to break it before I show it to you. I saw. I didn't go through the plush bin, but I did see this little guy, and he has a collar on that says Labrador Retriever. Now, before we had pointers, we had labs, always black labs. It says Black Laboratory Retriever, and it's by Ross, R, Ross or Ross? Ross, R-U-S-S. So it's a known brand of plush. He doesn't really look like a lab to me. His ears need fixed. <laughs> they don't have these stand-up ears like this. But um, I suppose you, you could fix them. But I'm sure if my daughter sees, sees him, she'll want him. Because I'm sure she'll get another lab when she gets it on. And... Uh, Then I did pull out of the bin, plush bin. This guy was looking at me. And when I picked him up, do you hear him? He makes a froggy noise. The thing is, there's no place to get to his innards. <laughs> there's no opening. So a different way you tilt him, he makes this... He, make, he makes a froggy sound, but he's really cute. <laughs> and he's by Gund, G-U-N-D, a good brand. So I had to bring him home. I suppose when his little noise wears out, it's just worn out because there's no way to get to it. So that was the two... Or the three plushes I got. <laughs> I think frogs are always good. So the hard good I got was this. And if my sister sees this, I think she should have this. Because this is like her cat. She has an orange cat. And it, it goes around, just flat piece. It's just flat goes around and it's like a pencil holder or something for your desk. You'd sit this on your desk. And this had been $19. And all these stickers are covering up the, uh, they're covering up the, if there's a name on here. I don't know if there is or not. But if I took that $19 sticker off, there might be a name underneath but I thought it was cute it appealed to me right away so I picked it up and got it so that is my haul from today yeah uh, don't kill myself just go back yeah I should go back and hunt for that that was a dumb thing you know, I know Spanx is good. I had never seen just jeans in Spanx. They're always like stretchy exercise pants. 
So I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was thinking they weren't, it wasn't real or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Then when I saw her show the exact pants, I thought, oh, that was a bad mistake. The work boots are, let me see what you said here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to read these here. A few. Oh, you said a lot. Let me go way back here. Okay. A few years back, we had a rock. Oh, I read that right about the rocking horse and your dog. <laughs> uh, I sent those other items as I got them earlier when you were interested in that. Yeah, I figured you got them from that store. I feel while they may take some time to Google, less time washing, ironing, and measuring. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to scatter them here and there uh, when I don't have something to uh, list. I'll, I have those along with my training, horse training videos. They're in the same pile. <laughs> uh, I need to see. You need to see the Chico's pattern again, more close up. That pink one. Hey, wait a minute. It's under my jeans here. <clears throat> that frog is making noise at me. <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown all these in one big thing, I guess. Froggy. I have to put the jeans over here. <sighs> Do you go, how often do you go shopping in Goodwill or your thrift stores, Bumblebee? Do you go like more than once or twice a week? <clears throat> okay, let me see here. It should be right under here. Okay, this one you mean? Okay, here's the pattern. You see that? It's sort of, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looks like the hill figure could be either men's or women's. Yeah. I don't know. Chico size three is hard to find and great when you do. Yeah, I'm lucky I found three of them today. Oh. Love the fish shirt. Yeah, I did too. Maybe somebody needs a belated Father's Day or birthday gift. <laughs> well, my son was taking his boat out more often. Well, it's a little big for him, but... Those work boots are great. Personally, I double that price to high 60s. It can always come down. Oh, okay. I can do that. They might just be for a shorter person. Oh, the jeans? I don't know. Don't kill myself. Just go back. Cute cat. Yes. I know. To me, the jeans don't look trendy at all. You mean in the Spanx? I don't know what jeans you were talking about. It looks animal print inspired. Really? 
Maybe. Could be, I guess. They sort of, they sort of go in circles. The dot, the blotches. It could be. It's better than putting geometric on. <laughs> it's what I put on anything that I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. That's what I got today. Probably my favorite thing is this frog. <laughs> uh, so I will be on tomorrow and do the What Sold video at 4 o'clock. And uh, I have a couple more coupons now to go shopping. So I can keep shopping. And uh, get these things washed and listed and uh, all that stuff you have to do before you can, all the stuff you have to do before you can actually sit down and list. But uh, I do it in, like I'll do all the jeans, they all go in the washing machine and then, uh, then I can, uh, photograph all the genes together and then measure all the genes and list all the genes. That's the fastest way to do it. And then I'll do the same with the tops. And then when you have different items, like I have a <laughs> couple plush and I have a hard goods thing, then that just takes longer when you do those. So selling similar items and listing similar items makes it go much faster. So I will close for now. And uh, Dexter's sleeping. It's almost his dinner time. <laughs> Reselling is fun. Yeah. So, um, I will see you again tomorrow at 4 o'clock. So bye for now. <laughs>